Hello everyone, um, I'm back with Mike to do some version 10 testing. We're gonna go back up into Asheville. We're actually at the outlet supercharger right now. And so we're gonna go back into Asheville, start at the same location. We're gonna do a little bit more um, detailed test on um, Carolina Lane. It's going wide for these people here. Oh, it's gonna go through. It's gonna go through Waffle House here. Um, so I've had this happen before. This again is what I consider to be a routing issue. It's gonna go try and go through Waffle House, and I'm not gonna let it. Um, it shouldn't be going through Waffle House to go exit, exit here. Mm, this is a weird. I think they got there first. Hold on. They were waving us on. I didn't even see it. Oh, I didn't notice this. Okay, so let's watch for this cone. That was a good lane change. That was more aggressive than... Okay. It could have made that yellow light. But for me, my preference is to have stopped. I'm gonna go ahead and press the camera button there. Hey, yeah, you can see because there's no lines up ahead, it has. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Considering it's not too bad. And then all of a sudden it straightens out when it starts going, that's weird. Considering it has no lines at all on this, it did pretty well. Um, I don't think it should be getting... It just has to get back over. See, this is a routing issue. Uh, it has to just get back over in the left lane. So it should have just stayed in the left lane here. Though this car got in the right lane too, so that doesn't help any. <laughs> This is all new anyway, so. And this, I wonder if this is mapped properly, is it? I doubt it. Okay. Okay, you can stop now. So yeah, clearly, um, yeah, this isn't mapped correctly because this is new construction on this. How recent is this? This oh. is very new in the past couple weeks that they moved it over here. Because now they're finishing that lane. It shouldn't have really changed lanes there. Um, yeah, so yeah, like, like Mike was saying, uh, yeah, this is the last few weeks this construction has been done. So the map has not been updated. So it's very clear Tesla's still using the maps um, to to route and to and for navigation purposes, obviously. Um, and so that's what caused that red hands issue right there. Actually, I don't know if the snapshot is too late or not, but I'm going to do it anyway um, and see if maybe they can figure that out. That has to be able to route navigate that situation without updated maps. Yeah, and it should. It tried to get over. I'm going to go ahead and make it get over. Because right here is another routing issue. A whole bunch of people are getting from I-40 onto this road right here, like this white truck. Usually a lot more traffic than that. No, can cancel that. There's also a car coming up on my left, so it shouldn't be trying to change lanes. <laughs> That's the correct. That's good. So it needs to get in the left lane here. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. When I came up here last weekend, it um, it did this fine, but didn't get all the way over the continue on 26 because um, there was a car in my way, high curvature, and had a message about high curvature. Yeah, that's kind of recent. So, oh, I bet this is gonna take. 
like that more. I don't like this way. I like it going on Patton Avenue instead. We'll go this way. It didn't do too well last time I went off this way. Patton Avenue does it a lot better. We'll, we'll see how this handles it this time with version 10. Okay, so that's a little bit early, but still good. Probably slow down a little bit sooner. You're in the wrong lane. Is it really? Oh, ha! I got a routing issue. I don't know. I was No, there. okay. So, we're just gonna go this way. So, I don't know where I'm going half the time in Asheville, and so that's why I didn't realize I was in the wrong lane. And so, the car doesn't get an excuse, it should make the right lane. Because it should automatically have all the maps and navigation memorized. There were errors on the road too, so yeah, I should have seen that. Yeah, that too. Um, let's go re-enable it, see if it can make it there now. Yep, that was, that was um, nice. that was pretty sure I was gonna hit that car. Okay, not ideal. It was not doing that kind of stuff in 9.2. Uh, well, it has, it had. Just yeah. it depends how often it does it on 10. This is good. Yeah, see, this is probably considered an improvement. It is, it's more confident just to continue going and through a turn yeah, yeah, instead of was nice. pausing or like jerking and slowing down. And also, see, we had it set to 30 here. I'm going to go ahead and disable the offset for Asheville once we stop here. This car is going 12 mile an hour, and that's an appropriate speed in this area, even though the speed limit is 25. So we're gonna pause here. Um, I, I think it. Your destination is on the right. Last time it came through that exit, it did need to t turn right, so that wasn't an issue. But this time, the routing issue there obviously messed up. So that has room for improvement still going to Nashville. So we're gonna stop it here and see everyone on the next video.